I am saddened and disgusted by it. Uh, I think it demonstrates the power of American mainstream media corporations. Uh, this propaganda since February of 2022 until today is the worst pro-war propaganda I've ever experienced in my whole life. I'm 66 years old. So I think that my party, uh, Democratic Party and the Republican Party are all victims of systematic anti-Russian propaganda over a period of decades. And I blame mainly that propaganda for the way that my uh, party members in Washington vote for continued military assistance to the uh, puppet government in Ukraine. Yes, I think that's completely accurate, that accusation. And uh, to f uh, verify that, simply look at the statements made by U.S. government officials over the years saying that, uh, you know, our main objective must be to weaken Russia, weaken their economy, uh, create regime change in Moscow. So it's it's quite open. It's not even a secret in the West that uh, those have been the goals for many, many years. And uh, what's happening is that uh, the United States did not expect the kind of uh, military action that, that uh, has occurred. The United States was overconfident and thought that it's still the biggest power in the world, that's no longer the case. It's a multipolar world now, and Russia is one of those powers that uh, has stood in the way of Western imperialism in, in Eastern Europe. 